And I really feel like this whole Krishan and Blueface show is really showing us that like money truly cannot buy you happiness. Hi my love, it's Ray Milady Girl from Run Away where we have culture, conversation, and community. And in today's video, I'm coming to you all with a Krishan and Blueface Crazy in Love season two, episode two review. Make sure you like and subscribe because it really helps with the YouTube algorithm and you join the community. So it's a win-win. We love those over here. So we'll just hop right into the review because that's what we do. That's what we do. That's what we do. That's what we do. That's what we, I ain't do that in a minute. <laughs> We're right back, you know, where we left off. Zeus gives up a recap like they always do. And so she's like, Krishan is just like, you know, well, I'ma just, you know, babe, why are you acting like that? He's like, well, you wanna stay on the bus? He's like, no, everybody stay on the bus. He's like, well, you wanna go? All right, I'ma go. So they hop off the bus or whatever. And literally, it's just like business as usual. Blueface goes in, he weighs in at 156 pounds or whatever the case. And after the weigh-in, they just hop on the curry and he's like, well, what you want to eat? And um, it just seems regular, like we're not gonna address the disrespect that just happened. We're not even going to talk about it. We're just going to brush right by it like it never happened, which is a real telltale sign of a truly toxic relationship. See me have them get ready for the fight. The trainer is kind of just reminding him of the strategies, you know what I mean, doing all these type of things. And, you know, Krishan is over here, you know, expecting his back knee, you know, just, just loving on him the way that she can. And... Tensions were high. I can tell in this fight that Blueface, I don't want to say he was nervous, but I definitely felt like he felt like, he felt the heat, he felt the pressure. The fight seemed like it was a good fight. You know, whether you saw it on pay-per-view or, you know, you saw it in person. It seemed like, you know, it was a good fight. He had him on the rope sometimes. The, you know, opponent had him on the rope sometimes. It was a couple of little body jabs. It was a couple of moments of, just like, you know, we want to see how the fight turns out. When we got in the car, the trainer was like really excited. It was cute. Um, you know, Krishan was just like, babe, I felt like I was in a fight. It was just really cute. Like, it was just really like, da 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 So, you know, Blueface was like, yeah, babe, I'm just ready to go out, have a good time, just enjoy myself. Like, you know, he was really just like, I don't know about these fights. Like, you could tell it was really on him. Now he just really want to, you know, let loose. Go to the club. He performs his song, You Call Me Your Daddy but I ain't your daddy and everything like this. And it's just like, girl, the club just seems so tired. I'm tired of watching these people go to the club, to be quite honest with you. The next scene, we see Blueface smoking and he is um, calling Rock. He's like, Rock, Rock, like calling her like something's going on. So she comes in. I'm like, why is he trying to start with this girl? You sit here chilling, smoking your weed, doing you. She moving about the house and you talk about some, you know, this is reminding me of the time that you lied. Like you want to start, you want to have a problem. You don't want to have a, you know, a peaceful day in my mind. Cause it's like, why give me this energy? You feel what I'm saying? And I'm just chilling for real, for real. That's that it's energy. Now you all high, now you paranoid. It's like, <laughs> it's just that these just be, ooh. Krishan is completely just like playing into it. Like, babe, I just wanted to go see my mom because you was acting like, you know, you didn't really care about me. Like this wasn't what the relationship was. And you know, just as a woman, I could totally get it. Like, yeah, you acting like it really didn't matter to you. I didn't matter to you. You, you were doing whatever, we wasn't together. So, so what I said, I was in LA. I want you to think I was in Baltimore. You don't need to know my whereabouts. Like I ain't know your whereabouts. It's very clear you know, what Krishan was doing in that incident and doing in that moment. You were trying to make it seem like she was out there cheating on you and doing a whole bunch of whatever, which I don't know that girl. We don't know that girl for real, for real. We can only speculate, but chances are he has cheated on her way more than she has cheated on him. And I feel like most of us would make that bet with confidence. Okay. So stop. And she tries to switch the subject. She's like, yeah, you know, my family is coming, you know, we about to get some testing done or whatever. And he's just like, oh, well, your family's going to be there. That's cool. You know, I'm glad that you have support in that way. And I don't know, y'all. It just seemed like it was a little, a little bit of like hater, hater shit that, that I was hearing. And I was even feeling too. What y'all think about it? Y'all let me know. Drop down in the comments. He felt, I felt like he was hating on her a little bit because she does have a little bit more family, familial support. He was just like, yeah, don't end up like me and my family or whatever the case. But like, 
you know, his mom seemed like she's, you know, off the hook. Obviously, Miss Carlisa is terrible. Ain't no doubt about it. But who's who's comparing who? You know what I'm saying? Like, you want to compare each and everything. Oh, you comparing the family. You comparing the stardom. Like, it's just too much. It's those subtleties. Letting his cousin show up. And I'm just like, oof. For me personally, I would hate to have to host them niggas. <laughs> Please, I'm not making no food. Take y'all shoes off before y'all walk up in here. Just, ugh. I, I'm, I'm, I, you know, I love us for real. But when it comes to, um, egros, I just call them egros. Y'all know who I'm talking about. I just cannot deal. I cannot deal. I don't like them in my space for too long. I don't want to speak. Um, I'm not friendly. We have nothing to discuss. <laughs> What are you doing? And you sharing this space with this man. So they start, they coming in, they smoke weed, they drinking Hennessy or whatever. They start talking about the girl. So now you got to prance around the house knowing that your man done invited his cousins over and y'all talking about me. So she comes over, she sits down and tries to kind of play it off. Like, yeah, well, you know, oh, what y'all was just talking about? What y'all was just talking about? Da, 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 da. But like, that has to be uncomfortable. And your man just sitting here, my man, my man, my man, like, you know, and you know, they're talking about their baby mamas. And you know, he's just like, well, you gotta get out of here. It's, it's, it's a couple rooms in the house. And she's like, this is my house. She's like, well, you need to go somewhere else. Just, oof, hate that for her. <laughs> That's all, that's it. They got the munchies, they laughing, and carrying on, eating up all the food, ugh. Mm. Oh, after that, they kinda just go to the studio. She sits on his lap, she tries to play it off, but obviously, I mean like, if you ever been a woman who lived with somebody, and lived with a man, you could just tell it was just like weird. So they go to the studio, and you know, one of the cousins decides to have the baby mama, baby daddy conversation about child support. And she's just like, you know, trying to play it off. Like, oh, well, your baby mom put you on child support. Like, she don't make enough money to take care of the child. And she like, he like, yeah, it don't matter. That's what we just do. You know what I'm saying? And she's like, oh, she don't, she don't make her own money? Like, whatever. And I really feel like that was a light flex. That was a subtle flex. Because, you know, these is his cousins. She want to kind of keep it cute. Whatever case may be. He trying to be like, yeah, it don't matter. Because these are just going to want child support. Even if you work at McDonald's. But she out here, she is bossed up. Like, nigga, I can take care of you. You feel what I'm saying? Don't, and, and that's the disadvantage that women have. Because you have, I don't know Cousin Tiny. And I don't know Cousin Bigums or whoever the hell else was there that night. But if it were not for Blueface's money, let's just say. I'm pretty sure Krishan is in a better financial situation than they are. But because they are men and they're in this position, they feel like they can talk through their nostrils to her about some fucking child support. That's why she said that subtle thing like, oh, they don't make money on their own. Because what she's saying is, I've been on tour since the pandemic. Through my pregnancy and everything. She's at every show. It's a vibe all the time. She's at every show. Not missing. Not missing a beat. On beat, off beat, she's there, you know, in the clubs and all. She's stacking money. She she just put out. She launched some merch, you know, selling a hundred dollar hoodies that I know y'all gonna buy. And what she's saying is, yeah, um, <laughs> I'm bossed up, baby, and I really wouldn't even need him for this for no child support. You know what I'm saying? Clearly, that's not my goal. You know, and I don't think that Krishan is doing this for no child support. And she's too far in and she's too far deep to be like even come at her on some child support type time. That just lets me know where that guy is. Like she she playing dumb in this moment for real. In the next scene, we have Krishan and she's obviously in a mood, okay? She bad, she in her mood. He bad, she in her mood. Shout out to Ice Spice. <laughs> Girl. Um and she like, yeah, I just want to drink, bro. I just want to have a shot. So the one sister, Takashi, she like, you're not drinking. I, I mean, can I drink this drink in front of you? Because I just want to have a shot. I just want to have a shot. Like, girl, you could have just had that shot and just been quiet. You got to announce to do all of this. The sister's just really rubbing me the wrong way. <coughs> the older sister, Tessa, obviously has some more compassion. She like, girl, just relax. Like, I had to I had to get set down in order to see how the, the guy I was attached to, I had to detach from, because da 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 And for those that don't know what she meant by set down, she went to jail. <laughs> she went to prison. She, just, she was sitting down. <laughs> and then she realized her baby daddy or whoever really wasn't about her. And she like, I just don't want to be pregnant no more. I don't want to have no baby by nobody, man. I don't want to have no baby. And listen, 
let me just say this: there's a lot of women who are on the channel, and it's mostly women. You know, it's a couple of it's a couple of the guys who follow, and I appreciate the support, but mostly women. And y'all, if you do not have children, then you really wouldn't understand. And I promise you, it just sounds so cliche. This is how I know. Like, oh, girl, I'm really turning into one of them. It's really under the best of circumstances. Truly, under the best of circumstances, motherhood is hard. Period. And when you are faced with the potentially the, the person who you you know, had conceived this child with is giving you issue during your pregnancy. I can imagine that being um, a great and intense amount of stress and pressure to deal with when you're in a regular state, but it's intensified when you are pregnant. I just want to drink, I just want to drink. She's like, oh, we're not doing that. We're not being no corny. We're not being no corny, not being no corny. Da, 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 da. The sister was just terrible. Sean, she's still trying to, try to grab the bottle. I'm just going to take a shot right now. I don't want to have no baby no more. I don't want to have no baby by nobody. We don't want to have no baby by me. It's one thing to be like, listen, I want to be a mother. I've always wanted to be a mother. And I'm about to have this baby regardless if, if, if this is the child's father or not. That's, I mean, you know, if the father wants to be involved or not. Those women, they are us. They are the elite force. They are the special type of women. <laughs> Let me just say that. Sean is not wrong for wanting to have a healthy relationship and having his baby. You get what I'm saying? And it's hard because it's hard to go from, well, I'm going to just have my baby. I don't really care when you were just involved with this man for years now at this point. And he's treating her in this manner. So, terrible. Starts, you know, saying some um, ideations. And she's really sad, and I hope that Krishan gets the healing that she needs during her pregnancy. And after her pregnancy, she needs to be covered and showered with love and support because postpartum is a very, very real thing. And the sister walks out and she's like, Well, I just feel like they get into the hot tub, and she's like, Why is it cold? And she's just like, Oh, I don't know, it's not turned on. So the sister gets out, and like, I'm gonna turn it on or whatever, but she's just like, I just feel like I can't even have a shot around you and I should be able to drink. Da, 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 da. We can't even put the food up. But I feel like Rashawn was just having that moment because she don't really have nobody to do it in front of. If if Blue is not going to be her rock, then she doesn't have anybody who else in the show and barrier of real emotion than your sisters. You know, and I, I just really think that Rashawn has some real mental health things that she has going on. Um, or in that moment, I should say. And, um... The sister comes back and she's like, I don't want to be famous no more. I don't want to be famous because she's going through all of this. But then having a platform, then having a camera in her face and everybody saying, oh, I wish you grow up. Oh, I wish you so stupid. Oh, she's so fucked up. Like, regardless of what, she's a pregnant woman. And, um, you know, outside of really right. trying to cause harm to a baby and outside of whatever, most people are going to have empathy and sympathy for this woman um you see the sister and her get into it in the next episode so we're gonna see how it plays out i'm here for it this is a good episode this was very telling um let me know what you think drop down in the comments as always i'm sending you much love and much light and i will see you in the next video peace